Hello, God Gamers. I have not wanted to make this video because uh, there is no way for me to make this video without disappointing a lot of people that I got excited. And, uh, and, and, and there's no way for me to not sound like a giant little baby little bitch. Um, okay, I'm going to come off as a little bitch in this video maybe, uh, and that's fine, but I just need, I, I cannot take another step down this path. I need to rip this band-aid off right now. I am walking back a lot of the goals that I set out uh, for this set, and I am changing them to different ones for several reasons. So I'm going to rip the band-aid off in a second, but please stay for the why. I'm going to explain why not first, and then why Please do not jump to assumptions and conclusions. I'm going to lay it all out here. I have no interest in being dishonest to anybody. So here it is. I am not going for rank one. <laughs> I am not doing that. That is not happening. Uh, uh, however, I will still make a push for challenger at some point this set, most likely. And I would, and 100%, I would like to compete in a North American major uh, at some point this year. Maybe not this set, but at some point this year, I would like to compete again in a North American major. That is really, really fun uh, to do. Uh, so here is the here here's here's the why not. I want to explain what this is not. This is not a situation where I played a couple I played two days of games, had trouble climbing, and now my confidence is shattered into a million pieces and I don't think I I could do it anymore. Guys, I am so I am hundred percent confident that if I spend ten hours a day playing TFT, watching VODs, forcing the best strategies, which is the way that you climb uh, in the high elo, um, I'm hundred percent confident that I can do that just as good as anybody else and I can climb to the high ranks. That is not what this is. Um, what this is also not, this is not a situation where like, uh, the game launched and, uh, the meta, ooh, I hate the meta and the game sucks and I'm having no fun. So fuck this game. That is not what's happening. I think set nine, uh, despite some of its flaws on its launch is one of the most successful TFT launches of all time. I mean, TFT always launches in a somewhat state like this, uh, but I think this is really, really good comparatively to how uh, most games launch and just how TFT games have launched in the past. I think we're in a pretty good meta, uh, despite the, you know, uh, despite the, you know, triple Zeke's nonsense, you know, or taking Orin, building a sniper's focus and uh, playing Zeri every single game is a very consistent way to climb. And I'm 100% confident that it ha if I do that strategy, I will climb very consistently. This is, this is not, this is, this is, I just want to be clear. This is not a situation where I'm like, I hate this fucking game. This game sucks and I was wrong. Um, and this is also not a situation where I have lost my confidence from a few days of bad games. That's not it. What it is, is I have been very quickly reminded about why I quit playing TFT in the first place and why I quit being a competitive player. And I have been quickly reminded about the lifestyle and the, and the lifestyle that I have enjoyed over the past year and have figured out the balance in my life that makes me mentally feel good, makes me healthy and uh, preserves the relationships in my life. Um, I have been reminded of that only after two days of grinding. It was very apparent to me, and I just do not want to take another step down that road. So let me explain that. I am just too old for this shit. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's the short of it. And what I mean by that is I have figured out things that I value in my life and things that make me feel good and things that make me feel like I'm progressing in my life and doing good for the people that I love and care about and doing good for myself. I have figured that out over the past year. It might sound a little cringe, but I have found myself, um, as people say. <clears throat> and uh, here are things that I enjoy doing with my life. I enjoy playing TFT. I enjoy, and no, this is not in order. I enjoy playing TFT. I enjoy making YouTube videos. I enjoy taking care of my family. I enjoy talking to my mom on the phone. I enjoy uh, taking leisure walks with my dogs. I enjoy watching anime with my girlfriend. I enjoy going to the gym, lifting heavy things and putting them down in a very regimented way. Um, those are things that I enjoy. I enjoy grilling. There are more things that I enjoy. I enjoy reading manga. Um, okay, I enjoy making commentary videos about, uh, about things going on within the TFT scene or just other things. Uh, maybe I'll do that on a different channel now because I do want to dedicate this channel to be purely TFT. I think that is a better business strategy for me. Um, but anyways, those are things that I enjoy. And those things are not conducive to sitting at a computer for 10 hours a day. Um, doing that makes, uh, makes, makes me not able to do all those other things, um, or it makes me much worse than all those other things, or all those other things feel like a chore when I actually enjoy doing those things. And it makes, and then when I have to do those things, it makes going back to playing TFT feel like a chore. If I have to play 10 hours a day in order to be at the high ranks, which is what is required. Um, just what it is. It's what's required. It's, it's certainly what's required for me to be to play at that level. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, 
just after two days of playing, I felt my mental health just go way down, had nothing to do with my performance in the game or the game. It is just purely from having to sit at this desk and, and, and having the camera on and having people engaging with me constantly. Like I, I just felt that sharp decline immediately. And I, I don't, I, I, I just got too excited playing PBE and too excited about the game and coming back to TFT that I have forgotten that I uh, do not enjoy that aspect of grinding. Um, I grind in other ways. And so the other thing I wanted to talk about is, so that, that's with that. that, that is the negative part, right? The positive is, um, you know, when I made that big lofty goal of going for rank one, and again, I think I can do it. If I do the stuff that's required, I can do it. I'm 100% confident in that. Um, I, want to, I want to make a big splash in the set this year. And that is in, in TFT this year. And that is not changed. That has not changed at all, guys. I, I just think I have a better way of doing it. I think that I have a unique skill set and operate in a unique spot within the TFT scene that other players don't. Um, so the people who are popular within the TFT scene um, are either like Twitch grinders, people who stream 10 hours a day, they're at top of the ladder, they're in there, they're doing it. And then there's people on YouTube who make like guides and stuff like that. I, the stuff, po videos that I post on YouTube, that sort of thing. There are people like that. And those are the people who are successful within this industry, both those types of people. And there's not a lot of overlap, uh, honestly. Like the people who like, you know, think about some, think about the biggest streamers. Think about like Kerm X. His YouTube channel is dead. He's trying to figure out the YouTube. He has no idea how to do it. I love Kerm and I would love to help him. Um, you know, I got friends like, you know, I got my boy like Gooba and Beppo. You know, they're smaller streamers, but they're on the rise. Uh, but they have no idea how to do the YouTube game. They're trying to figure it out and they have no idea how to do it. Um, and I, I've reached out to them to help them because um, I would love to help those help, help help anybody who would like to learn about the YouTube game that I respect in the scene and that sort of thing. Um, I would be ha so happy to help them um, with their YouTube strategy. Um, and, you know, people like Soju, he has no idea how to play the game and he doesn't want to like play the YouTube game. Uh, he just hires some, you know, he hires Flex to just post his VODs and that sort of thing. And then occasionally he'll make a guide where it's just him talking to the camera for um, five minutes and Flex edits it together. So... I feel like I operate in a very unique space uh, because a lot of high level players and high level players are aware of who I am. And there's a certain level of respect that I get within the scene, uh, high EO scene, that people know that I'm, I'm at least one of them. I think there's a lot of people on YouTube that don't have that level of respect within the scene, within players. Now I'm not like super respected, you know, someone like Soju probably has no idea who I am, uh, despite me being in loads of games with him over, this, over several years. I'm sure he has no idea who I am. Uh, but a lot of other players do know me in the scene and I have a certain level of respect and buy-in from people that they know that I'm one of them. I've been challenger in five different sets. I've, I've been a turbo grind Lord in the past, and I do have that level of respect that a lot of people on YouTube just do not have. I also, I'm, I'm pretty good at working the camera, you know, having camera presence. I have a good, you know, a nice little content set up. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty good at reading the room and knowing what people are interested in and what people want to talk about over this past year where I've been doing other types of content. I've been learning how to do that. Studied a lot of people like Ludwig, Moist Critical about like their delivery, how they, how they find topics to talk about and stuff like that. I, I have learned a lot about content creation in the past year. And I just think it's a better use of my time to invest in the things where I have an advantage over other people. I think anybody who plays this game at a decent level, I think anybody who, who has been able to grind up to at least Grandmaster before, anybody can spend 10 hours a day if they're smart and they're really dedicated to it. They can spend 10 hours a day to grind to the top of the ranks, turn on their stream, and, uh, and hope for the best. I think anybody can do that. What I don't think anybody can do just out of the gate is have five years of content experience that I have. I've uploaded over 1,500 videos to YouTube over the past 10 years. Um, because I had a different channel before this with several hundred videos on it where I did like let's play and shit like that. Um, uh, you can't, you can't, you can't make up that experience level that I have on YouTube and my, and my understanding of the content game. Um, that is just an edge that I have over people, and I should be spending my time doing that. Uh, I should not be trying to compete in the in the space where everyone else is at an even playing field with me. Simply, the people who make TFT content are just not on an even playing field with me because I have a certain level of experience that uh, they do not have. And people who do have video experience, I have a certain level of respect or a certain level of uh, notoriety within the high EO scene. Not, by the way, I'm not super famous within the high EO scene, but I have a certain level that people on YouTube just do not have. And I should be using that advantage um, rather than just trying to do what everyone else is doing um, 
And yeah, I've thought about this a lot and I really didn't want to make this video, uh, but here we are making this video and I apologize to anybody that I got super excited about my rank goals. I still will want to compete in a major this year um, for sure. And I will grind up the challenger and I will continue to, um, I will grind up the challenger at some point, probably this set, maybe not though. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how I'm mentally doing. Um, but uh, yeah, I will continue to make guides on this channel. I will continue to make commentary TFT videos. I will continue to cover like news in the scene and that sort of thing, uh, covering patch notes, all that good stuff. That's not going anywhere. And I will probably make a new YouTube channel for the other stuff that I'm interested in because I do love making videos about the gaming scene and other things. And I think there can be a lot of crossover with a lot of you guys here um, that you may be interested in that sort of thing. I am not launching that channel yet, uh, but stay tuned. I'll make an announcement on the community channel, probably make a video about it. Um, that sort of thing when I do that, but because I do want to do that at that point, but I still want to keep my 100% focus on TFT right now, um, for at least for the time being. But anyways, guys, that's it. I love you all. I love TFT, and I appreciate you guys.